एवरी वन टूडे वी लर्न हाउ टू लोकेट द सेंटर ऑफ ग्राविटी ऑफ ए टी सेक्शन यूजिंग ऑटो कैंड एंड ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट देंट्रॉयडल मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द सेंट्रॉयडल एक्सिस एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट द बेस रेफरेंस एक्सिस इन ए ऑटो कैंड लेट एस टेक दिस प्रॉब्लम लोकेट द सेंटर ऑफ ग्राविटी center of gravity of t section having a flange 100 mm wide and 25 mm depth and web 100 mm deep and 25 mm wide uh, let us start with uh, setting uh, setting the building limits let me set the uh, sorry uh, drawing limits i'll type a limit and uh, lower left corner i'll keep it as 0 0 and upper right corner i'll take it as 400 by 300 mm now you can see uh, the grids grids can be seen here now this the lower uh, left corner is 0 uh, 0 and when you go to the upper right corner shows uh, 400 by 300 okay now Uh, let me draw the T section having the width of the flange hundred mm and depth of the flange twenty five mm. Then at the center, uh, the depth of the flange uh, also can be drawn. Take uh, the depth of the uh, web as hundred mm, and on the either side, the web thickness we take as twelve point five mm on the either side, so that the total width of the flange web will become twenty five mm. Let me uh, show the dimension. is the dimension of the t section now in order to uh, locate the center uh, center of gravity cg point of cg we need to convert this uh, section into a region so i'll type the command region then i'll select the object the flange And also the web. I'm going to select these flange and web together. And the two reasons are created now. This is a one reason and this is a second reason. This is the first reason and second reason. Now you can create uh, uh, the T section as a one uh, reason also. We need to trim this part. Then we can create the T section, whole T section as a single reason. Okay. After creating the reason, I need to uh, type the mass property command. That is mass prop command. Mass prop as a command. Then select the object. Now uh, you can see the property of the section. The property of the section can be seen. Uh, Uh, this is the area of the section that is the t section area of the t section and this is a perimeter of the t section and this is the centroid uh, centroid cz that is the x bar and y bar from the origin point from the origin that is uh, the z, uh, coordinate 0 0 the coordinate coordinate point 0 0 that is from uh, this uh, where the x and y the uh, axis are shown From this point, uh, these are the uh, 
centroidal the distance cg distance but if we want to know the cg the, cent the centroidal distance say cg from the reference axis that is the re axis passing through the base of the object and side of the object to know that what we have to do is and uh, this is a moment of inertia about the uh, origin point or o that is 0 0 from the point 0 0 but uh, this is not our aim uh, our aim is to find out the uh, cz x bar and y bar from the base of the axis the base of the object the reference uh, axis of the from uh, from the base okay to do that what we have to do is we have to move this uh, the x and y x and y axis to this uh, was in point, this point the object the base of the object to do that what we have to do is uh, we have to type ucs command then we will select the object as option then i'll move this ucs point uh, here now the axis is moved here to the uh, base of the object now again we will type the mass property as a command then we will select these two objects now the whatever we see uh, the centroidal axis the, cent so the x bar and y bar is from the reference line is from the base of the object And uh, this is x bar that is 50 mm. We know that the t section is symmetrical about the y axis, hence the x bar is 100 by 2 that is 50 mm. Then uh, the y bar is the y bar is calculated and that is 81.25 mm. And the moment of inertia i x x and i y y from the base of the object is uh, this. This is uh, i x x and i y y in uh, mm raised to 4 and uh, this is a centroidal axis this is a moment of inertia the principal moment of inertia about the centroidal axis okay. this is a, a moment of inertia about the centroidal axis and these uh, these this is, these are the moment of inertia about the uh, reference axis that is the axis passing through the base of the object and these are the x bar and y bar values now let me uh, you can uh, you can write this file uh, this file to the word or text file you can save it as a word or text file also now let me uh, locate this point in AutoCAD this x bar and y bar that is x bar is 50 and y bar is 81.5 to do that what I am going to do is I will open AutoCAD then I will type the point come on then I'll write 50 the x bar and uh, y bar value. Now this point is located. This is the point. And let me show the dimension also. That is, this is a y bar distance. you can verify these uh, values by the manual calculations and this is how uh, we are going to locate the CZ and also uh, to calculate the moment of inertia about the base and also about the center